Hello, Provo City. I am Superintendent Dow. I am the superintendent of Provo City School District. Today is Friday, November 17th, and I just wanted to give you a few updates on things that are going on around the district. First and foremost, today around 2 o'clock p.m., you should be receiving a notification if you have a child that is enrolled in a Provo City school. Uh, you should be receiving a notification that is a test notification. It should come via email, uh, text, and or phone call, depending on how you have your notifications set up. I hope all of you have updated your information in PowerSchool. You'll wanna make sure that you receive that test uh, notification simply because that is how we will contact you if we have inclement weather. And we talked about in board meeting that one of the protocols that we are going to implement is that if we know that bad weather is coming, we will be notifying our schools by noon the day prior. We know that sometimes we're gonna have emergencies that happen at the last minute, but often we do get fair warning about, about storms that come in. By seven o'clock p.m. the night prior, we will announce whether or not there is a late start the following school day. And if a late start is to be called, then those of you that live up on the bench will automatically trigger a below bench pickup. And you will know that by seven o'clock p.m. the night prior, so you can make those arrangements. If for some reason it just keeps snowing and is crazy, then by 5.30 the following morning, we will announce if we need to um, pivot to an at-home learning day. And your schools will communicate with you how you are to receive um, those at-home materials for your students. In some cases, things will have been sent home with the students. In some cases, it will be available through Canvas or Google Classroom um, with a Chromebook based on the grade level of the student and the school. So principals will be communicating that information out to you. But please look forward to that test call later today at two o'clock. Make sure that you're receiving that. And if not, um, Make sure you contact your school so they can double check your, uh, your notification settings. Also wanted to give um, all of you an update on the construction at Timview High School. We have had several delays that have occurred. Um, one, our elevator keeps causing issues and they finally did get it installed. Um, there was a motherboard issue that happened and, um, and if all goes well, that should still keep us on track. They had ordered another motherboard and are working to install it as quickly as possible. Uh, as of right now, the tentative dates to move into Tempview's new wing, academic wing, will be on Wednesday, November 29th, Thursday, November 30th, and Friday, December 1st. Those will be all on a Friday early out schedule. So they'll have the same schedule that they do on a Friday for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If for some reason we have to change those dates because of some other delay that comes up, uh, Principal Tua from Timview High School will notify the Timview community and we will keep you updated. But the, the, that is the goal is to get um, our teachers moved those three days so that students can begin their classes the following Monday in the brand new academic wing, which we are very excited about. We will keep um, giving you updates uh, on the status of Timpview High School so that you are aware of what's going on. And, and as always, just know that we're gonna run into hiccups, um, but want to communicate as much as we can with you so that you have all been so patient in this process and just bring you along in this, in this process. Also wanted to uh, give a shout out to our podcast that is um, being released today. Uh, we interviewed seniors from Independence, Timpview, and Provo High Schools, talked about the teachers that have had a tremendous impact on them and helped them discover things about themselves that they didn't know. Uh, I hope that you will take a, ha that you will listen to the, to the podcast. Your senior might be featured in that. And uh, our teachers are highlighted from elementary all the way up through uh, high school high school age teachers. So it's impressive to see what an impact our teachers are making on our students' lives. So I'm very thrilled about that. Then um, the week of Thanksgiving, we will have a very short podcast from our district leadership team, just expressing gratitude for what we have in the district and wishing all of you a happy Thanksgiving. So look forward to those. Uh, at board meeting on Tuesday, there were two policies that were introduced on a first reading that I wanna make you aware of. The first policy is a student inclusion and respect policy. What it really entails 
is talking about how we create safe spaces for students in classrooms and how we are ensuring that um, our students uh, feel like that they are seen and that they are valued and that um, they, we, we don't feel like that they're walking into an environment where they have to feel defensive or frustrated by anything. And so read over that policy. You can find it. If you go to our district webpage on that very front page, it'll say um, policies and forms. If you click on that, um, you can get into draft policies. It will have that policy listed and it will also have a feedback form. And uh, you can uh, put in your feedback to that. And then the policy committee will take a look at that, make some recommendations to the board. And the second reading of that policy will take place at our board meeting in December. I believe that date is December 12th. That will be the second reading and that will be at the time when we ask the board to vote on that particular policy. Um, so just wanted to make you aware of that. Uh, we also had uh, a tax increment policy that was on its first reading. You can also see that policy there and provide any uh, input as well. Uh, our next board meeting will be on November 28th. There will be a few more policies that are coming up for a first reading. Um, some of those have to do with um, providing language services to families. Some of them have to do with administration of medication, just things where the law has been updated that we need to uh, make sure that our policy is reflecting um, those legislative updates. So uh, you can look forward to that first, those first readings taking place on November 28th. I also just wanted to give a, a great big shout out to every student that was part of the musicals at Provo High and Timpew High Schools. Um, we had the opportunity as a district leadership team to see both musicals and they were incredible. Just the talent of the students, their singing voices, their acting abilities, the sets that were created. Just, I mean, and, and we know that there's so much behind the scenes, all of our tech uh, students that are learning how to run light boards and sound boards and there's just a lot that goes into a production like this and to see our schools be able to provide this incredible opportunity for our students just makes me really happy and so it was great to be part of this and really appreciative to the parents that help with this because there's a ton of volunteer work that goes into these productions as well as just um, overall appreciation and gratitude for all of our staff members that help our students excel at this level. Also want to uh, wish Timpew High School good luck this evening at their state championship football game against Bountiful High. Bountiful is my alma mater, but I, I assure you I will be wearing bright orange tomorrow as part of the students orange out and will be there in support of uh, our Timpew Thunderbirds um, as we hope that they take the state championship tomorrow. So hope to see many of you there. It is at 6.30 p.m. at Rice Eccles Stadium. Also want you to be aware that the next steering committee meeting for our strategic plan will be taking place the first week of December. That steering committee will be looking at more finalized versions of our core values, mission, and vision. They will also start to examine a, a possible version of the Utah portrait of a graduate. We would really like to create a Provo City School District portrait of a graduate using the Utah portrait of a graduate as a guide, but really looking at what do we value as a community and what do we hope our graduates have as they leave our Provo City High Schools. So I uh, just want to make you aware of that. There will also be a survey that's tied to the strategic plan that will be going out to all employees, um, students, and uh, community members. So look for that to be, um, to be distributed in the coming weeks and we will give you notice of that so that you have an opportunity to give some feedback as to what you feel like uh, some of the priorities need to be as we start moving into the actual priorities that will be part of the strategic plan. Also, the calendar survey has gone out with two options. Make sure you are responding to that so that we know uh, what your preference is for the 2025-2026 um, school year. Um, so that that is uh, in full swing. Um, and then I also wanted you to be aware of that one of the things that we are working on as a district leadership team, um, especially with our assistant superintendents over secondary and elementary education, as well as over student services, is our policy 3214. This is a student policy that deals um, extensively with bullying, harassment, discrimination, hazing. We recognize that we need to make some adjustments to this policy so that 
we have some really clear protocols in place for how we are handling these situations and some um, significant training will be going into our principals and assistant principals and so we will have um, we will lay that out in a board meeting as to our next steps for how to really ensure that 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 policy is really strong and that our students are feeling very safe at school that school climate piece and students feeling safe in their school environments is very important to us as a district leadership team and we take these things very seriously and so more to come on that um, and certainly we will have those policies listed for your feedback even after we do a first reading so just note that those are some things that we're that we're working on with that i just want to wish all of you a very happy thanksgiving i hope you have a wonderful break with your family with friends that you're safe um, and that you take this opportunity to think about all of the things that we have to be grateful for um, and uh, and reminder that there is no school for students um, Wednesday through Friday of next week. So there are only classes being held on Monday and Tuesday. And with that, happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.